In the video, we look that these people climbing in the sky are power grid, inspection workers. Their job is to climb up and down the tower every day and walk the tight rope at an attitude of 100 meters. They're not performing acrobatic shows, but slightly guarding the lights of thousands of homes. Hello everyone, welcome to the Machine Eye channel. This video mainly shares with you about China's UHV power transmission technology. Since the invention of electricity, it has become one of the indispensable resources in our daily human life. China has become the world's recognized power in terms of power technology. At present, China has realized the network of power resources. Even if problems occur in one link, other links in the grid can quickly make up for the safety of electricity in each city. These transmission lines rely on various networks of high voltage lines erected in the field. To achieve cross-regional transmission, China has mastered the UHV transmission technology, and the supporting facilities of these lines are the iron towers. Such transmission towers are very common in China because China is the world's largest power country and UHV transmission technology is leading the world. This is the tallest transmission tower in the world. The Iron Tower is 61 meters higher than the Eiffel Tower with a total height of 385 meters. With such a high tower, the foundation must be strong enough to ensure the safety of the tower. The underground pile foundation of the tower is a staggering 69 meters, equivalent to a height of more than 20 stories. Because the tower was built on deep foundations, it cannot collapse even with earthquakes and strong winds. Why does China spend heavily on building such a 385 meter high power transmission tower? The reason is simply that these high voltage lines need to cross the Yangtze River. If a 150 meters high tower is used, it is not enough for the line to reach the other side of the Yangtze River, which is 2,550 meters wide. If the tower is too low, the wire may hang directly into the river in the middle of the Yangtze River, which is a safety hazard. Moreover, the Yangtze River is a very important inland waterway in China, and the transmission lines should not affect the safety of the waterway. With a safety height between the ship and the wire, the height of the tower must reach 385 meters to ensure the safety of the power transmission. The completion of the tower fully demonstrates the strength of China's infrastructure and the precisely because of these power facilities to power the city, ordinary Chinese people no longer have to worry about power failure, and the transmission tower across the Yangtze River can meet the needs at least 8 million people. It can be said that building the world's tallest tower is of great significance to China's power system. To maintain the tower and the grid safely, the grid workers must climb hundreds of meters of the tower to work high daily. Such a picture looks thrilling. In China, if there are no power grid workers brave pay, there are no brilliant lights for thousands of families. They look poor at work. Working at a high altitude is dangerous. 
Such work is not the average person can be competent. Walking on the high altitude wire 100 meters above the ground is frightening to watch, as if it will fall off accidentally. However, to make money, power maintenance workers can only overcome their fear of heights. Whether it is the wind and rain or the hot sun exposure, they often need to high altitude work, especially in the hot summer. Wearing work clothes in the hot summer to work for five or six hours, full of all kinds of bitterness. During the hottest and coldest time, the public demand for electricity is the most vigorous, which is also the busiest time for power workers. And the power repairman often has to walk at an altitude above 100 meters. The work is extremely dangerous. Electro power repair workers, slightly in the mountains and fields, to dedicate their youth with their sweet may even pay a more terrible price. Setting out at high altitude is a hard and dangerous job, and they have to travel between two electric towers like tightrope. They work at an altitude of 100 meters and are exposed to the sun every day, which makes people feel very sad. They get up at 5 o'clock every day, climb up the tower after washing and eating, and don't come down until 7 p.m. They don't have a strict commute time, and getting off work in the field is limited by light, so they have to squeeze the daylight hours to save time and physical strength. After they climb the tower, they would not come down for a day, and they had lunch and lunch breaks on the tower, because it is too troublesome to climb up and down. All meals have put a rope down, let the colleagues on the ground tie the rise to the rope, and then pulled off. Sometimes really tired, hand to safety ropes and sleep on the wire. Although there is the guarantee of a safety rope, even so, it still looks dangerous. They are at an altitude of more than 100 meters, supported by several thin and long wires, and travel between different operating points. This is the real daily work of the electric power frontline employees. For ordinary people, their work is as dangerous as walking a tight rope, but for themselves, it may be an ordinary job as breadwinner. To protect white and comfortable families, their work deserves respect from each of us. In this world, you think it's smooth sailing, it was sailing against the currents for the others. Watch this review of Chinese power workers risking their lives to work on a 100-meter-high iron tower and tell us what you think. Enjoy!